David, this week the president said that we are at war with people who have, quote, perverted Islam. I get that he needs to build a coalition among Muslim nations. I also get that he needs to tamp down Islamophobia. But by omission, it seems dishonest not to acknowledge the role that religion is playing in the minds of those jihadists. Well, and I think when he said they've perverted religion, that's what he's talking about. Listen, a, a quarter of the world's population are Muslims, and 99.9999% uh, of them aren't involved in extremism. Uh, so, obviously, it's not something that's rooted in uh, Islam. It's rooted in the minds of these extremists who have perverted uh, Islam to, uh, to, 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 to jibe with their uh, warped uh, ideology. And, uh, and, that's, and, and it's really important that we separate them from the rest of the, uh, the world's Muslim community because we need to attack this together and, and not divide uh, those who should be fighting this as one force. I get that his critics like to say, well, he won't use the words radical Islam because they then try and equate that with the president being weak against that threat. That's not where I'm coming from. I think that he has he's stood up to the task at hand. But I do worry that if you don't acknowledge what's driving some of the jihadists, then you can't assess and stop the recruitment process. If it is religion for some of them, we need to know that and act accordingly. Uh, but, uh, Michael, I think what he's saying is that it is their interpretation of uh, religion that is driving them uh, in this instance. And that's, uh, that's, what, we have to, uh, that's what we have to acknowledge because uh, otherwise we're tarring the other 99.9% in ways that uh, create not just uh, divisions between us and them, but really fan what you said before, which is this kind of anti-Islamic uh, sentiment that, that makes it harder to solve the problem. Graham Wood wrote a great piece in The Atlantic this week that got tremendous discussion, thousands of comments appended to it. And he pretty much said that when we say ISIS has distorted Islamic texts, we're making a preposterous statement that they are literalists, they are fundamentalists, those who are interpreting the Quran for this evil purpose. Well, you know, the, the religions generally, if, if, you, if you take ancient texts and interpret them li literally, they can lead you to conclusions that aren't uh, rational or consistent with the larger themes. Uh, and so, I, you know, I, I haven't seen the article. I don't want to comment uh, on the article. But all I know is that these extremists, ISIS and, and, and the offshoots of them, uh, are not reflective of the, the broad Muslim community in the United States and around the world. And we should, uh, we should resist the notion as, uh, that, that is, it is all of one piece.